for three. Basketball, and from Furkan's perspective, once you see the back of your defender's head, you're cut. Nice find led to the foul. What do they say? Man ball, man ball, man yep. ball. Ball you, ball you man. Korkmaz drills the three, coming off that 17-point performance in which he had three threes. His fifth three now in 15 tries. For teammates, including that 60-win Atlanta team a few years ago. Scott teeing up a three. That's Horford pulls it down. Korkmaz for a three. Got it. Furkan Korkmaz, what did Brett Brown say? He'd like to grow a bomber, maybe it's Furkan. Well, that's Al Horford making that possible because he gets the rebound down to one end, finishes the defensive exchange, and then down this end, gives his team a second chance opportunity, resulting in... Gary Trent Jr., a second year, 6'6", 205. His dad played in the NBA as well, same name. Taking a tumble, Korkmaz, and how about that? Furkan, the second charge he has taken on the young season. Doing a good job moving his feet. We'll take a look at him here. There's a second chance opportunity guarded by Al. The quick kick out, ready to shoot is 3-0. There is a good look at Korkmaz. Korkmaz with a quick release. He's got six in a seven-minute run. Baysmore, like Evan Turner, the guy he was traded for, playing in the last year of a hefty contract. Korkmaz is trying to deal with Hood. Pretty good defense, oh. though. They get Furkan on the foul. Nonetheless, it'll be his first. Watch this, especially his left arm, to see if there's a foul or any contact. I don't know about that. The Delaware Blue Coats tip off. They're 17 attempts for Portman. I know lefties look good, like swinging a bat. Rodney Hood's jumper looks sweet. So he's going to have to rush here to get two for one. Scott certainly thinking about it. Korkmaz never bashful. Scott working over Hood, and he got it done. Mike Scott, his third bucket. He's got... Brown's got a quick hitting play, so there's going to be a three option, and a... There's the three option. Korkmaz, it'll count, and that'll do it. Sixers have never led in this game, down by as many as 15. They managed to cut it to 11. Here, a trade-off with Korkmaz is he might struggle defensively, but he'll knock down some jumpers. Well, his defense has been good, like on that last It was series. really good, and he's taken two charges in <laughs> this game. That's what I mean. So he gives you defense and jumpers. Bonus. Horford. The floor, Rodney Hood, worry number five tonight for Cork. That's asking a lot of Cork Maz, that deep post up from a talented Hood. Tough to stop. Nice hands again from Cork Maz. As Hazonia is stripped. Korkmaz behind the back to Tobias Harris, who got it off and in. Give the assist to Korkmaz. Tobias Harris now with a dozen. How about the hands by Korkmaz? Jarring that ball loose, and then the fine. Al Horford with the finish deep. Sixers down as many as... Way to the cup, Ben not liking that. Big Korkmaz, after being beaten by Hazonia, just sticks his hand right in, and then that sets the 76ers off in transition. Nice find from Korkmaz to Tobias Harris inside. Good on both ends, big boy. Like it. Look at this. Look at Korkmaz this. Korkmaz put it on the floor. Look at this. And the floater is true. Eight points. Off the bench. For something else. Not something that they want to do. That they've been doing all night. Horford slamming for two. Al Horford makes it a one-point game. Give him... Ben Simmons coming up large. And the Sixers lead for the first time. And Portland, you... The reason for that. All right, here we go. Here is Lillard and Richardson locking on to him. Going to get him right away. Smart move from Brett Brown. Simmons the double. Open Simons for three, and he hit it. And Anthony Simons hitting the go-ahead three. Now the double team's got to be better, but credit to Dame because he saw where Ben was coming from, and he went to the opposite side and then found a Simons who was standing there in the corner waiting on him. They'll get some easy buckets in the lane, so why not just get the easy two, and let's play five more minutes.
No Joel Embiid for this situation. The thinking is you want to get this game over with. You don't want to play five more minutes. That's conventional thinking. Got Simmons, Korkmaz for three. Yes! Wow! Furk on Korkmaz, still four tenths of a second to go. And the Blazers still have a timeout, and they're going to use it. on Korkmaz, his biggest moment as a sixer, buries it. I believe it was for three. The Take official's him. hand is up. Right now the scoreboard, yep, now they're showing the Sixers with a one-point lead, well, we and they're going to review it. We talked about the options. You go inside or do you try to wrap this up in a bow and let's go home? Brett Brown doesn't want five more minutes. He goes right to the corner. Furkan, let's go home. Good call, partner. Here it is again. That's a nice quick release. Lillard not in time. Furkan, good clean look. Coming in cold off the bench. Yeah. That's big time right there. Now, defend without fouling here. Not much time, but don't foul and don't get caught napping right now defensively. Stay alert. How about that? Big boy. Four tenths of a second, so it does not have to be a tip at the rim. That's with mm -hmm. two tenths of a second or less remaining. So you can have a shot and you can have a replay. Yep. Now this is where the lack of bigs that Portland hasn't had in the lineup hurts them because you want to do something at the rim, but you're not going to be able to. What a turn of events. <laughs> How about that? Everybody in the place thought, Anthony Simons won it, but Furkan Korkmaz had other ideas. Defensive energy. We talked about it at the start of the fourth quarter. It can carry you through. One more look, because it never gets old. There's a screen on Lillard. The catch, the face, and the knockdown by Furkan. Oh, yeah, let's do it again. Now, do you have time for a catch and shoot, or it doesn't have to be a lob here? Oh, I'm throwing something at the rim. I don't want to catch and shoot because you're only down one point. Throw it at the rim and hope for the best. Maybe a foul or something. Horford is on Tolliver. You get only five seconds to throw it in. And again, the Blazers without any timeouts. Tolliver looking. Got it in. Lillard. No good. And the Sixers win it in dramatic fashion tonight in Portland. Thanks to the heroics of one Furkan Korkmaz. The Sixers fighting uphill all night long, down by as many as 21, take their first lead of the game in the dying moments after free throws by Ben Simmons. Anthony Simons took a pass from Damian Lillard and hit what we thought was a game-winning three with 2.2 to go, but Brett Brown puts the ball in the hands of Furkan Korkmaz who hits the game-winning three and the Sixers remain the NBA's only unbeaten team at 5-0 and as we go to Serena. Thanks, Seal. We've got the man of the hour, Furkan Korkmaz, Al Warford. Furk, that was arguably your biggest shot as a Sixer. How did it feel out there? This is like, I don't know what to say. Like, I'm really, really happy about this, you know. So probably, like you said, this is the biggest shot I ever take with the Sixers jersey, you know. So I'm really happy we got the W, you know. We just need to keep going and playing as a team, you know. I'm so happy. Al, take me through that final play. Play it out for me, and then see and Ferk hit that shot. Uh, yeah, we had different options, and uh, the, one of the looks was Ferk. So I wanted to make sure I set a good screen on, on his man. And he, um, you know, we're working at him practice, but it doesn't necessarily go in. But he was so confident. He stepped right into it with rhythm. It's so hard not to step out of bounds or put your that foot on the screen. line. That was a good screen. Or put your foot on the line. And he just, you know, he got it, timed it, knocked it down. We're, you know, we're very happy. And he stayed ready. That's the biggest thing. He stayed ready, waited for his moment, made a big play. Well, Frick, you're talking about the good screen by Al. How constant has he been with you guys? So it was the end of the game, like he said, you know, we were working about this, all practices. I knew that he's going to set a good screen, you know. I love playing with him. Uh, I don't know what to say. I'm really happy, you know, I'm really happy about this stuff. Al, you guys were down by 21 points in Portland, and you come to beat them with Ferk's game winner. What does that say about this group? Uh, resilient. Um, you know, I, we kept talking in the locker room. 
in the second, at halftime, in the third. Stay with it. Stay with it. We're, let's keep. Let's keep playing. And we just kept believing. We kept playing. Woo! Uh, we believe, know, baby. We got stops when we needed to. This guy made some big shots on the stretch there in the fourth and uh, and got some stops when we needed it. So uh, total team effort tonight. Alan Ferk, thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Back to you, Mark. Serena winners, thank you so much. Our Chevrolet players of the game tonight, Al Horford, starting at center, a season-high 25, stuffing the stat sheet and Ferk on Korkmaz. Some great moves tonight by Brett Brown. He put Haul Neto into the game. He helped to bring the team back and then inserted Furkan Korkmaz at the right time. And Korkmaz buries the game-winning three. The Sixers 5-0 on the season. They win it tonight by a point tonight over the Portland Trailblazers.